Welcome if you're new here, I'm so happy to have you. And if you're my pre-existing subscriber, welcome, I'm so happy to have you. And so for today, we do have Sharon Lynn from A Sense of Light. You wanna say hi? Hi, everybody. <laughs> and so for today's special, we're gonna be talking about Thanksgiving. And so when we're recording this video, as of today, it is November 24th. I'm not sure when Thanksgiving is, so don't judge me. But if you guys have just got finished watching the Macy Thanksgiving Parade, comment below how it was. I probably didn't watch it because I'm too busy decorating my tree. Anyway, uh, so for today's video, the whole thing we're going to be doing about is we're going to be receiving messages from the universe and from our angels, what it is that you need to be grateful for for this very Thanksgiving and what you need to focus on. Also, what we're also going to be doing is I have a message already picked out when I ask the question, what are some things that you guys need to work on? And if you're hearing this, this is what this is meant for you. Now, please keep in mind, this is for a collective. And so it may not resonate with me, with you. It just means that it's not meant for you. And so with that being said, without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. If you guys are new here, just know that this is just for entertainment purposes only. And if you guys are interested in checking out my store, anything, donate to his channel, my email, you want to check out Sharon's channel, everything's in the description below. Now, with that being said, we're going to jump into the messages here. So, when the car flew out, I already knew that you guys were having some issues and you probably have some, some sort of concerns. Now, you need to know that you guys need to work on your chakras, but don't worry, I do have cars that already flew out of what you need to focus on. I have not seen them yet. So you do need to work on your energy. So you guys need to work on trying to calm yourself down, especially during this Thanksgiving. And whenever you're watching this, this is, this is a reading for you. And also, one of the things that you guys also need to work on is you also need to connect with the earth. A lot of you guys are being very disconnected because of quarantine, everything that's been going on, you have been almost disconnected. And so when you find the part of you that's really you, is you'll find it when you're out, out and about, when you're in your nature, when you're in your natural area. We are by nature animals, right? And therefore, we're meant to be outdoors. We're meant to be in that kind of area. And so that's where you will find your calmness, your sense of peace and duality and stuff like that. And so now if you guys also want to figure out what you need to work on in terms of your chakras, you have a thing that you need to work on. So you need to work on your heart chakra, which talks about your lot of green here. You need to work on your radiant warmth and sincerity. A lot of you guys feel like because of Thanksgiving, it has almost hardened you. You feel very cold at some degree, some areas. Part of you feel like you're not compassionate for those who have a disagreement with you, for those with, who have a different political idea, political point, a political ideology different than you. And so what it's trying to tell us is that we all need to come together and become a union again. And so what you need to work on is work on your heart chakra. Don't let yourself be unopen to love from other people from different backgrounds of life. And so this is something that we need to work on in terms of your heart chakra. But you also need to work on your crown chakra, which you understand. You need to work on your understanding, your selflessness. You need to start doing things not for you, but doing things for others, being compassionate for each other. I've seen some of you guys might need to go to a church charity where you guys, you know, my favorite charity is going to uh, the local church next to me and making PBJs and packaging, packaging them and sending them to people who cannot, cannot afford to eat. And so that is something you can do. Be selfless of what you do. And you also know that this message for you is divine intervention. I did call upon my angels and guides to guide you guys tonight. And so they want you to understand that there is divine intervention. And so they're the reason why you're here watching me tonight. And this is the reason why you're meant to hear the specific message. And so if that resonates, that is specifically for you, okay? Some parts of it may resonate, some parts may not, but that is because this is for the collective. So take what resonates, leave the rest behind. So far, how do you feel? I think it's a good message. I think people do need to work on their chakras and do some meditation and also by working on your crown chakra, you're starting to help um, channel and bring in your own information, your higher self. So I really think um, working on chakras is a really good idea. We have so disconnected from one another that we have allowed it to kind of destroy it from within. And so a lot of us need to kind of 
amend all those problems that have been um, broken. We need to re-communicate with one another. So that's something that, if that resonates with you, that is for you guys. Okay, so without further ado, you mentioned that you wanted to do um, Biden, what to expect in a Biden-Harris administration going forward, what to expect in America. And so I know that um, that is something you wanted to do. I know this is not supposed to be a political reading. However, for some of you guys who have been stuck at home, listening to all that political nonsense, just know that this is a way to find some sort of hope and sincerity and calmness about all the craziness that's been. Yeah, I feel like we need to have unity and which is why I made that, I made a video yesterday on the unity and forgiveness and coming back together. I think it's what we need right now to forgive people and try to get along again and try to see each other in a different absolutely. way now. and the separation and bring us together. I absolutely agree. So I'm going to do a little reading if you want to follow as well, Chan. More than welcome, Chan. Mm-hmm. All right. So spirits and angels tell me what it is that we need to know about the future of the Biden Harris administration. What would America look like? Can you give me an idea what America will look like in a Biden Harris administration spirit and angel and angels? Excuse me. Okay, so first of all, the first thing you're gonna get is a similar check, a similar packet. So that's the first thing that's gonna come out of this administration. The next thing is they're gonna take a leap, a leap of faith into doing the things that a lot of America and a lot of Americans don't do or that want, but because of the partisan climate, they cannot get done. However, it appears to me that Biden is going to have enough votes in the Senate and the Congress to pass his legislation to progress America into a better and calmer light. We do see here, we do have a yellow again, right? Yellow. Then we also have yellow, the full card. And what that tells me is I do. I do what is best for America. Then we also have here, he is going to be fighting um, the rest, so there, there will be attack on the rest. That is for definitely sure. He is definitely going to attack the rest. He's going to come through. He, this is him. He's going to he's going to give America an offer. Almost be like, well, for all those people, I almost feel like I'm hearing him now. He's saying, for all those people who have never experienced what life was like in the 1980s when the rich people paid their fair share and everyone benefited. However, the only thing you have experienced was the worst of what will ha- what happened to America when the rich did not pay their fair share. So that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm seeing is what Biden is going to be saying. So this could be very well be in his inauguration address as well. We do see here there is a lot of family money. So if you are struggling financially because of evictions and stuff like that, and because of the stimulus package, you will be okay. This is probably one of the most progressive ideas that he's going to do or enact. We do see here he is going to reach out to allies that the United States has ignored under this current administration. So he will definitely be reaching out to foreign policy. He will as well be able to cut up, he's going to have a very big difficulty with the election, the integrity. The um, the integrity of election is going to be one of the biggest challenges to Biden's presidency. It's the fact that Trump's narrative of pushing if the election was fraud is going to be one of his biggest challenges. People people of, across the United States, not all of them, but some of them will still believe and continue to believe that Biden is not the rightful president and so that Trump was, uh, election was stolen from him. However, we need to manifest happiness and joy. We need, in order to get the coronavirus thing in check and receive this payment, we must, we must manifest it into reality. You must do your part if you really want this. You will also have the pays the want reverse, which tells me is that if we don't allow Biden, if you don't come out in Georgia, if you're in Georgia right now and you're listening to this message, if you don't come out and vote, Biden will very well end up as a lame duck president for the next four years and your life will be a hellhole. I am telling you now, we need to go out and vote, make your voice heard. Whoever you vote for, we respect that, but however you need to vote, make your voice heard. Because those people back in the, um, the 1800s, the 1900s, the 1700s couldn't vote, but you have the opportunity to do so. Vote for the people who couldn't. Be the voice for those who couldn't be able to vote. And you, it'll, you'll sure be successful at what you do. And we will have to set. The question is, what would you do? And we do have here, 
the election in the past was a very brutal one. However, however, you must do what you need to do for this president, because if you do not do what for President-elect Biden, what's going to end up happening is come 2024, it will be more important election than you, uh, this election has ever been, because it will be about the soul of America. You think Biden talked about the soul of America. This is the soul of America. And so we have the page of cups here. And so that is all about happiness and joy. But do you want it? That's the decision that you have to make. Do you want a Biden presidency? Do you want to see him secede? What do you see, Sharon? Mine will be a lot shorter than yours. I see um, Biden and Kamala looking at the money that was left and what happened in the White House. And they're going to be looking at how to get our finances back in order. And then they're going to make partnerships with a lot of people mm. to help assist in all of that. It's going to take time. But in the end, we're going to be coming out victorious and hopefully united again. Mm -hmm. I completely agree. I completely agree. I don't know why what went over me with that whole entire long ass message. Excuse me for my language. But I don't know what happened with that message. I don't know if it's somebody that's just like, I needed to keep going. It was, was good. It was good. That's just what needed to be said. Yeah, that's true. Pretty long lines are short. <laughs> I'm, I'm a channeler and I get, you know, messages that you need people as well. Need to, oh, we have the same card. <laughs> okay, so what do we need to focus on? What we need to be grateful for? And so I feel like for this very Thanksgiving, what do the spirit and the angels want you to be thankful for for this Thanksgiving? All right, let's find out. Spirits and angels tell me, what should my viewers be thankful for this Thanksgiving? What should they be thankful for? What should my viewers be thankful for for this Thanksgiving? What do they need to be? Okay. Oh, okay, this is a clear ass message. All right, so we have here victory. You need to be thankful for this very strong victory. A lot of you guys have voted for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. But the first card is we have Bi a president-elect Biden and president-elect Vice President um, Kamala Harris here in the same token. It came out together. And in the future, Biden. So you, what you need to be thankful for is that you got Biden and not Trump, is what the cards are telling me. What about you, Sharon? I didn't expect it to be political at all. I'm getting that, everybody. Um to be uh, grateful for your family and, you know, your friends and that you're healthy and alive and okay in the pandemic and know that the sun's going to come out, the stars here looking over us and everything is going to start to get better and better. And we have the unity again, the lover's card, and hopefully we'll all unite and become one in love and unity again. And then we have the nine, which is like joy and happiness coming true, like wishes come true. So I think we're going to get whatever we wish in the next coming years and just think positive and manifest what you want, not what you don't want. I completely agree with you 100%. And not call it with unity, it's my Biden Harris cut as well. And so I think that's also plays right into what I just said previously. See a deck? Because I have to tell me, you know, I got a message from a guy telling me that's the right deck I should be using going forward. All right. So let's just look at, let's just do hypothetically. What was, what was the life of a Native American during the time of the first Thanksgiving? Spirits and angels, tell me, what was the life like for an average Native American during the very first Thanksgiving in the New Americas? What was the first Thanksgiving like, Spirit and angels, tell me? What's the first Thanksgiving like for a lot of, a lot of Native Americans? Okay. Okay, so we have two cards here, and then I'm going to take a top and a bottom. All right. So the first card is, in the past, when they did that, they didn't know that there was another world. They didn't know that there was Africa. They didn't know that there was India. They didn't know there was China. They didn't know there was Europe. They didn't know the other world existed. This was in the past. Presently, at the time when Thanksgiving happened, they felt like it was a good time for them. It was a good time. It was felt like 
the four stories and the five stories actually came out together, ironically. That they felt like it was a good time, a union between two different types of people from two different races and two different backgrounds. They were actually very happy about what was happening to them. They were very excited to be meeting with these pilgrims. However, we do have here is in the future, they didn't understand that the Nine of Cups is a lot of the monetary money that they had gained from during this time before they met these people after Thanksgiving, the consequences was is that they were going to be stolen of their dignity, their pride, their money, that things were stolen from them. And so that's what uh, they didn't understand the consequences of this first Thanksgiving. They were very excited to be with these people. They didn't have any expectation. However, what they didn't know was that the Seven of Swords was going to happen. If you look here, this is the crow, right? And you see here very closely, the person's knife. Do you see a knife here, Sharon? Yeah. I can't see. And so I, I what that can't. tells me is, is that they didn't understand. They, didn't, they weren't able to grasp the fact that these people were backstabbers. What did you get, Sean? It's kind of funny because I got three aces. And, well, their land was taken away, you know, and... They weren't very happy. It was stolen from them. Mm -hmm. And then I got this other ace too. So, I mean, I don't think Thanksgiving for them is, is the happiest day because, you know, we came and took away a lot of their land. I don't know if I'm getting it right with Thanksgiving, but I feel oh, like after you were absolutely right. That is like they weren't, they feel like their land was stolen and they're not, that's not a day for them to celebrate. Mm -hmm. I completely agree. I completely agree 100%. Because what I also got was I wanted to know, will they ever get their dignity, their pride? Will they ever get their country back or their land? And so Tommy, I did do a Native American video a long time ago. If you guys check that out, I believe that was my third video on the channel. Spirits and Angels, Tommy, what, Will the Native American culture ever get back, or the Native American people ever get back their dignity, their pride, their money, and their land, or their country back? Will they ever get any of that back? What is the future like for many Native Americans at the core? Or, or is, the, is it what we call the lost civilization? Is it a lost civilization at this point? But we can never go back and find out what it's truly like as a Native American. Can you give me any clarity and insight on that, Spirit and Angels? Okay, so we have this card. Okay, so we have here, we have the two stores. They were blinded in the path. They didn't know what happened, what, what, what to expect. These are two crows as well. Here we have the Ace of Swords, but it's reversed. What tells me is they weren't when, they, when these people came, they weren't mentally there. Like, they were there, but they weren't spiritually inclined. They feel like they were lower vibrating humans when these people came in. And so they were very easily able to be taken and manipulated out, out of and very easily take advantage of. And so in the future, we do have number 13. And this is the death and rebirth. And so it's almost like it's supposed to be a major change for Native Americans in the future, whatever it is. It's the three of pentacles. And so there's a major change coming. Whatever it is, it's almost like the culture is being brought back. Like people are working on it. If you look at this girl right here, she's working. They're working on bringing back the culture that was lost. So the, I would call it the forgotten culture, the forgotten one. Because this group is the forgotten one. This is the group that has been heavily ignored. Not saying that other cultures have been ignored. But however, with those cultures, we know what they did, how to, how they were like. With this Native American culture, we only know very little. And so I feel like we're gonna be able to start bringing those back. We're gonna start bringing them back. That's the culture. And we do have here the three of the emperors, but they won't get the land back. They won't get the land back, but the culture will come back. What do you get? I say the same thing. Um, I feel like they're gonna be learning new trades. They're gonna definitely get help Judgment Day is coming where they're going to be judging how the presidency helps them after they helped vote him in. Like they're not going to be able to get their land back anymore because he's given some more of it away too, I think. But 
but they're going to definitely learn trades. They're going to be respected and treated fairly, and they're going to be working on it. Um, like the high priestess is going to be uh, deals made and partnerships and I talked about it has happy family. So I feel like in the end that they'll be, of course, part of. Of course, we can never give them back what has happened to them. Just like all the other horrible things that have happened in our world, we can't really change the past, but we can go forward in the future and I hope fix the future. give them now going forward, give them their dignity and everything that they deserve as an American that lives here um, Before in us. America. You know, that this is their land and be respected as the first ones here. Mm. Now, when I did the arena a long time ago, someone said that the Native Americans have put a curse. And so I want to know if the curse will be broken regarding it's on certain lakes. Whatever it is, that whatever, whoever drinks from it, they, they, they have illnesses come from it. So there's a there is a curse there. There is. However, they will not, uh, what we have found is they never cursed the United States because they found that it was stupid to curse the United States because it's now their country, which means that they will be just as harmed. It's yeah, not worse. That would have happened a long time ago. Probably. Yeah. Anything, not now. So, spirits and angels, tell me what, about the Native American curse on the Great Lakes in the, or in that particular area on the lakes. Will it be reversed? Will the the curse be broken if the United States are able to uh, willingly allow Native Americans to formally integrate into society and to help them out and, and say that they're sorry for all that they've done. Will the curse be broken? Is that what the curse is all about? Okay, here are masters from there to tell me something different. So we have here, we have the page of cup of verse. And so in the past, this is about like not extending to um, the higher self. So I guess the curse, what it feels like, it feels like it almost like dampened the person's ability to extend to the best version of themselves. So I don't know why they would do that because that would just pawn them away. But um, we do have the six of stories here. And so it was in the lake, but it looks like it's almost fully done. Like the curse is almost over. And in the Eight of Pentacles, we're no longer going to be able to be tied to the curse. So it looks to me that the curse is almost done. It has done its thing. It's almost over. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's what, that's what I'm getting. Okay, so what else do you want to read out for Thanksgiving? Um, what, 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 what is the fate? Why, would, why did pilgrims take what they did? Was it because they did, wanted to do it on purpose? Or is it because... I don't know. I want to see what their motive was. Why did they take what they did in the first place? Okay, Spirits and Angels, tell me about Native Americans and the pilgrim. Why did the pilgrim take away Native Americans' land and their dignity and pride and their money? Why did they do that? Why did the pilgrim do that? Spirit and Angels, tell me. Okay, so we have a lot of cards, so I'm just going to take the top three and the top three bottom. Okay. All right, so we have here, we have the Knight of Swords here, we have the Strength card, and we also have the Lovers. And so in the past, they felt like they had to run away. They had to run away because of political persecution, because of religious persecutions. They feel like they didn't have the strength to form an alliance with the Native American. They feel like they wouldn't be a good ally, even though they really are. If you look here, there's a lion and, and a, a woman. So it tells me here is that it's a, a union between them. They felt like their intentions were not pure. Their intentions were not pure. You have the lamb here, it's reverse. You also have the lovers. It was a fake union between two people. The one thought it was a real relationship, but the one did not want a relationship. So actually what it feels like the motive is, they didn't really care. They didn't want a, a relationship with the Native American. We have here, they, were just, they just wanted to reform a brand new version of England. They just wanted something to feel like home. That's really what they wanted to focus on. We have here, they weren't really interested in a friendship with the Native American. They didn't really care. They didn't have no interest in it, right? 
And we have here, they, they don't want a union. They don't, they don't really, they don't want anything. They don't want happiness and joy. And if they had gone with the Native Americans, it would have been a better union because it would have been a great one, but they decided to go against what they should have did. And they, you know, everyone had to have a few choice of will, but they would have had a better outcome. What do you guess, Sharon? Well, I think they came here looking for a better life and, you know, went through many struggles getting here and they still had their ups and downs. And I think they didn't, maybe didn't intentionally steal the land. I don't know, but they were rejoicing when they got here because they finally found a place to live and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to figure out is what is the real meaning behind Thanksgiving? What is it that my viewers want to know? What is, what is the real meaning of Thanksgiving? Like, what was the first intentional purpose of Thanksgiving? Was it just to eat food with everyone? Like, why did they do any of that? I think because there's more different reasons than they said in school. There's, you know, like, to me, Thanksgiving is, you know, giving thanks for everything we have and but that's not the original. Yeah, so I want to figure out what exactly, what was the real behind Thanksgiving, you know what I mean? Maybe it might have been called something else. Okay, oh, oh, that's not good. That was not good. Okay, so the first card is, the real meaning behind Thanksgiving, actually, what this card is telling me, is the real reason why to blind the Native Americans is that they can, that it was a good union. Like, they're, they're going to be the ones, I protect you, you protect me. But they were just blinding them, giving them false hope, false interpretation, false happiness. And, um, yeah, so it looked like to me, the, the purpose of Thanksgiving, it's a original tent, was to blind somebody and say, I'm thankful for you, but I'm really not. Because how many times have you had Thanksgiving? Someone asks you, what are you thankful for? And you're like, uh, I don't know. So then people just make it up on the spot. You're not thankful for something you just made up on the spot. Am I correct? Yes, maybe sometimes it takes you a little bit, but most of the time people don't know what they're thankful for. And I feel like in this, it kind of plays into that because we're not exactly sure what happened, but what I'm seeing here is that it was a way just to blind the Native Americans to false hope. What do you guess, Sean? Well, I think they were celebrating because they had crops and food, and so they celebrated their, their new land that they found. Yeah, but one thing I would definitely say with the new crop that you mentioned, actually, a lot of those crops and the food that they got were actually from the Native Americans. Mm. And so they were probably celebrating, hey, we've, we got someone that we can like take advantage of and let's just use them until we, they're no longer any good. And so I'm just really pissed out at why they even think, thought that was a good idea. Let's just say what we're thankful for for everyone else who's watching tonight. I just want to say that I'm very thankful for you guys to be on my channel for tonight. And I really appreciate each and every single one of you. All your nice comments, all the Reiki and love and healing light that you have sent to me. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I want to give a special thank for my donators for helping me out with this channel specifically. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. I love you guys. I'm on upon a numerous amount. You don't even know how much I love you. I have ordered more decks for you guys, so it will be like almost an like early Christmas gift for you, so stay tuned. I do hope you like this video between me and Sharon. Sharon, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for everything in my life. I'm grateful every day that my kids are healthy and that they're all, everyone's fine. I mean, with what's going on out there. And I'm grateful for everyone out there in all the subscribers, your subscribers, my subscribers, and just anyone who's watching and so happy to be able to be here with you and, and be there for people on my channel and kind of be a little more sheltered because so many people are suffering right now and just grateful that we got a new president and this nightmare is over. <laughs> Celebrate today. He got his, well, yesterday, really, he got his official 
and transition team change that so we can move forward now and start not have to watch television and see what's happening every day we can just go about our lives and see what's be you know live our lives again mm -hmm, i absolutely agree and i want to say thank you guys if you guys want to like subscribe hit the bell icon also if you guys are interested in following the channel you can find all everything in the description below love you guys see you guys in the next video bye bye